it's Pelle here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the AI lightning effect in After Effects and I mean do I even need to say something to be honest like this is one of the coolest effects I've made so far and I'm not even you know exaggerating when I say that and that is and the fact that this is AI as well it's just it's mind-blowing it's really mind-blowing and uh, I'm <laughs> I'm very excited to record this tutorial for you guys. And if you guys don't know who I am, my name is Pelle Kvabberg. I'm from Sweden. I've been editing for almost a decade now. And I'm also running the website called EditingVisuals.com where I have a bunch of editing packs that's going to elevate your editing and it's going to save you a ton of time. So yeah, if that's something you would be interested in, uh, feel free to check out the website. Now let's start with the tutorials. And here I'm in After Effects and I have my clip here. I want to make this AI uh, lightning effect on. And we're going to be making a before and after uh, frame. So uh, the first frame we can go with is going to be this one. And to render this one out, you're going to be going to Composition, Save Frame As, File. Then choose where to save it by clicking here. And then on Output Module, click on that one and here we have a photoshop uh, sequence we want to change that one to a uh, you can go with jpeg or png uh, something like that press ok then render so now our frame is rendered and saved and now for the next uh, frame we're going to be making the author frame and for that one i'm going to be choosing a frame here i want to be author I like this frame here. You can make a marker here. Uh, the first thing I'm going to be doing here is brought the brush lucky here. It's gonna go pretty fast. Just cover lucky like this. Fast brought the brush like this here. Don't need to be perfect. Uh, just a quick brought the brush that works. So it's going to look something like this now. We're going to be duplicating uh, the layer. Control D. So now for the bottom layer here, we're going to be deleting the brought the brush effect. So we get the background back. Now after the rotor brush is done, we're going to be uh, adding some lightning textures to this frame here. And uh, what we're going to be doing is basically yeah, download some uh, lightning textures. And to get the lightning textures, I'm uh, going to download some from uh, Pinterest here. So I can start off with... This one looks pretty cool, so just right click and then download. Then this blue one here as well. Now we'll import the lightning textures you downloaded into After Effects. So we can start with this one here, adjust lightning. And then I just placed it under our root brush layer here. So you just drag it under like this. And I'm going to be using this look as the after frame here. And this might be a little bit too many, you know, lightnings here. But if that is the case, you can always go back and then adjust. And now when we're done with this, go to composition, save frame as, file, JPEG sequence here, then render. And now we're going to be using a website called Kling AI. This is, it has to be one of the best websites ai websites right now and if you guys seen my channel i've been using it in uh, some recent tutorials uh, and now i'm going to be using it again <laughs> but when you're here you're going to be pressing create go to a video here then you guys can see i've been running a lot here <laughs> i'm going to be using cling 1.6 for the moment uh, i have tried uh, 2.0 but uh, for me 1.6 worked the best so far. Now start off by importing the before frame. So now I have the before frame there. Then we can add a end frame here. Then drag in the after frame. So it's going to look something like this now. And here in the prompt, uh, I'm just going to go very, very <laughs> simple and just type add thunder storm. And after that, you just press generate. And this is how it's going to look now. Uh, looks pretty bad not gonna lie so uh, yeah you basically have to generate uh, a lot and I forgot to tell you guys that uh, when you use this Kling 1.6 model you have the kind of VIP professional mode here so you can uh, render out uh, free outputs at the same time you will you will have to uh, spend a little bit more credits uh, but if you're, you're willing to do that you can speed up your yeah, AI generating your workflow a little bit. So now I tweaked and changed the auto frame here a little bit. Uh, still same prompt and stuff like that. And we're going to be generating, uh, yeah, three uh, new uh, videos basically. So these are the three new AI videos we got here. This is the first one here. Looks pretty cool actually. And uh, this is the second one. Got this one as well. These are very very cool. 
and I'm going to be using this one here I generated. So just press download. And now we can import the clip into After Effects. So here we have it. I'm going to start off by pressing Ctrl Alt T to timer map this. And I'm going to make it a little bit shorter, something like that. And now we can mark the keyframes, press F9, select the keyframe, go to graph editor. And here we can drag this one up like this, then go to toggle switches and modes, and then check this one. Uh, so you get this little arrow thing here, and that's the frame blending function here. It's going a little bit fast, so I'm gonna drag this one down. Nice, so now the time remapping is done and we get this kind of look here. And now we can duplicate the layer, so press Ctrl D. And on the top layer here, I'm gonna be adding threshold. Then you can go a little bit further in, adjust the thresholds. And basically adjust the threshold so you can just see the uh, lightning. Uh, and then off the threshold, add the deep low, adjust here as well. Then go to toggle switches and modes and then change the blending mode to screen. So this is the look we have. Pretty clean. And after that, I'm going to be making a adjustment layer. So press Ctrl Alt Y. And here I'm going to be adding Sapphire Flicker. And here I'm going to increase the amplitude. I'm going to set it to maybe 0 0.75. Something like that looks clean. Then add a glint. Drag down the brightness. Drag down the fresh hold a little bit. And then we could add four color gradients as well. I'm gonna go with a light blue here. Copy it to all of the other color positions. Then change the blending mode to color. Then I'm gonna drag down the opacity a little bit. Maybe 50%. And then for the cling AI uh, you know, watermark here, I usually just add a new adjustment layer, then transform, then just start off by zooming in a ton to get some pan and crop. 200, something like that. Then go to the ending of your clip and drag it down. Something like that. Then open up effects, transform, mark the keyframes, press F9. Then open up the graph, then drag this one down. Toggle switch, switch the modes, add the motion blur. And for the bottom layer here, I'm going to be adding Vignette for a little extra touch there. And these are the settings 150 at the amount and then angle 60. Pre compose the AI clips. Then I'm going to be using Shake Sauce 2 here. Keyframed, I'm going to be adding Flicker Shake. The tutorial is going to be linked in the description down below if you guys want to learn how to make this effect. And uh, Shake Sauce 2 is also going to be linked in the description down below. It's one of the best uh, shake extensions for After Effects. So if that's something you guys are interested in, you know, feel free to check it out. So you basically just have your clips like the double click and your <laughs> shake is already implemented. So here and then, Flicker Shake, double click there. And now to make it even smoother, this look here, add RSMB. This is also going to help cover up the you know little AI look, and make it more realistic. I'm going to be using the uh, default settings here. This I would say the settings I'm using here is very intensive for the amount of frame rate I have. I would have uh, 24 FPS, and uh, yeah, these are very strong settings. But as I said before, it's going to help cover up the kind of AI look a little bit. So as you guys can see here, that's the motion blur, or SMB kicking in there. And this is how it's going to look in the end here. I'm very satisfied with this uh, AI lightning look here. It's one of the, yeah, okay, it is the coolest uh, AI effect I've made so far, and it looks super, super hard. And it just, all of the effects you added to it, it's just gonna make it look absolutely insane. And uh, yeah, if you guys wanna check out the Shake Sauce 2 uh, is going to be linked in the description down below. And if you guys like this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe and share this tutorial. Don't forget to check out my website, editingvisuals.com, with amazing editing packs that's going to help you out with your editing. Also, check out my socials, join my Discord server, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.